guys to another episode of Detron Does It. Of course, I am Detron and I does stuff. And this week, we are giving the front of the house a bit of a facelift. And so, similar to the project that you got going here, we're going to be adding some more plants, and some lights to the front of the house. Now, I'm going to do a quick flashback to show you guys how we got to this point. And then today, we'll do that installation of the flowers in the larger portion of the front yard. Also, we'll probably hang up some bird spikes because I got some pigeons who decided to nest on my roof. And uh, we'll probably get up a lantern. As always, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notifications button and get some alerts. Find out when we drop in new videos which is every Monday. And if you decide not to like, share, or subscribe, yeah, you know, I won't be mad at you. All right, let's go ahead and get these plants planted. Planted? Let's, let's plant some plants. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so look, we have been homeowners for a little over a year now. And after the Texas storm came through, it really decimated our already beat up plants. So this is what the plant section looks like that we're going to focus on today. So we picked up some Japanese boxwood. We also picked up some super bells. Super bells? Yeah, we picked up some super bell, yellow chiffon, something or another. We just wanted something that was gonna be fairly low maintenance. Here is some pine bark nuggets. Let's see if you can see. Well, you'll be able to see the color here shortly, but it's a reddish color. And we wanted to use that instead of the mulch that we already had down, give the front of the house a different look. But those are the things that we picked up for this one section. All right, so now that you see what we got, let's go ahead and get the stuff in the ground. a bunch of dead spots in our front yard my plan is to rake up the dead spots pull any of the weeds that are there put some topsoil down and water it see if we can get our grass green again I'll show you guys what it looks like in just a moment
right, so you guys seen the video from earlier in the week where we had the bear spots. You can see that a couple of days later, uh, today is what, Thursday? We started this on Sunday. You can see that there is already some grass beginning to grow in the area that was dead. This is the area that we are gonna tackle today. Let's get started with that. kind of forgot to rake up all the dead stuff first so we're gonna put the trees in there and then we're gonna rake up the dead stuff because well that's just how it's gonna end up working out So I just had my wife go and place the super bells where she wanted them in the yard and then I just went and popped them in the ground. I mean, it was pretty simple. It wasn't as simple as this makes it look, but it was easy. Show you guys what I did with these bird spikes. So I was able to attach two screws to each one of them, and then I got this one kind of poking out that way they don't get any fresh ideas about trying to land and walk up. We'll see if it works. I feel like I may need to put one in the very back back there in case they can fly over top of these, maybe even right there. We'll see how this works, and then we'll revisit the topic if uh, if we find that it is not adequate. So there you have it guys. We have finished the small and large projects in the yard. We're on our way to getting some green grass. We changed our mats, we added bird spikes, and we added bricks to the front yard. Uh, I think it looks really good and it really gave us a different curb appeal. But I'd love to hear what you guys think down in the comments below. As always, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notifications button and get some alerts. Find out when we're dropping new videos, which is every Monday. And if you decide not to like, share, or subscribe, you know what? I won't even be mad at you. Till next time, guys. Peace.